Good evening, everybody. I hope you're well. My name is Kelly Farley. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Karaka, Auckland. <coughs> and um, tonight we're going to make this card here. Um, so let's uh, see if I can get up. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm having trouble with this living. So this opens up and then you've got a Z fold. So it's kind of a Z mm -hmm. fold there and then extended at the end there. Mm -hmm. So you've got lots of panels. You can make a really cool scene or you can have it as individual pieces. I like the idea of having a scene and then you've got space at the back. Um, instead of a belly band, I um, oops, put a ribbon on it just so that um, it sort of um, sat flat a bit. It fits in a standard envelope. Um, and let me just get this up so I can say hi to the lovely people that have joined me tonight. Um, okay. Hello, Lisa Allison. Thank you, Lisa. I thought it was quite cute actually and it's similar to one we've done before but I think um, we've folded this one back too so um, yeah so it's quite sweet <coughs> you can use belly band or ribbon it's up to you um, but um, or you can leave one panel as a writing panel and decorate either side of it there's so many things you can do um, with it you could have it so that that's on the front just to do something a bit different, you know. There's lots of different ways that you can um, you can present that card. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got a piece of cardstock. Our card measures five and three quarters by the length of A4, so that's eleven and three quarters. <clears throat> we're going to have another piece which is five and a half by the full length of. Um, a4 and this is the insert piece that we're going to decorate so if you wanted to use um designer series paper inside oh why is that doing that let me just um i don't know why it's zooming in no nope, that's too far nope what is happening what is happening it flipped over and now i can't see what i did because that's the roof, you don't want the roof. Okay. Oh, now it's blurry. There we go. Okay, so this piece is the same size, just a little bit narrower, just to give you that border around the edge. Then you're going to need <clears throat> um, some designer series paper for the front. So that is... Um, that is... Five and a half by three and three quarters. I've tried to keep the measurements a little bit easier today. So you've got a little bit of a border around the outside. All right, so <clears throat> first one, we'll do the scoring first. And so it's not really happy today, is it? Um, so our first score mark is, I feel like this is a bit close. Let's see if that makes a difference. Is that better? Um, the first score mark that we want is four. So we're going to come in and do four. And then eight. <coughs> and that gives, that should mean that our two, uh, the centre and the left hand panel are the same size. And then we've got this one here. Now this is not quite four. It's one and three quarters. So I worked out, hopefully it's correct. So you go to, it's one and five eighths. So go to one and a half and then two short lines. So it's halfway between the half and three quarters. And you're just going to do a scroll mark there. Okay. If that messes with your head, change your scores 
uh, to 11 and then you should get three panels that is mm, that I've made that different that's not right I'm sure that's what I had here it's oh, annoying mm -hmm. oh it's one and seven eighths sorry lovely one and seven eighths I better change my notes <coughs> um because so one and seven eight. So then the oh, and then oh that's I looked at the DSP. The D or oh, the matting or the cutting that we're gonna do is five eights. So this is seven eight, so I've put it put you wrong. So hopefully you watch through before you so I'm just gonna put it in there. That's gonna be covered by my design anyway, so it's not going to matter, we just have to make sure that we fold on the right score line. So then we should have close to equal pieces here. If you do what I've done, you can just get your bone folder and press out that score mark a bit as well. And it will, but it is going to be hidden by some... Uh, design by the design or the matting on the top all right so that's what our base looks like all right so what we're going to do is we're going to leave that for now and then what we're going to do is create our background so when I did this last time I cut it and then stamped it so this time I'm just getting a piece of scrap paper that I can um, get and clever. So I'm leaving this the same. You're not actually going to use, you're going to end up with a small piece left over that you don't need. All right, so I'm going to use some sponges. You don't have to use sponges. Um, I'm sorry, not sponges, brushes. If you would rather use the measurements and use designer series paper, then please feel free to do that. I'm going to start off with the grass. And we're just going to get our, so I'm using some granny apple grain. And I'm just going to get our brush. And starting off, then just in a circular motion, I like to have it darker at the bottom, but lighter going up. So it's kind of like a green hue coming up. Um, so with the blending brushes, the more ink you lay over the top, the darker it's going to get. All right. Um, I find circles, a circular motion, um, is, is a bit more forgiving, so you don't have streaks so much or lines through it, as long as you, um, get any excess off before so the my green's not too bad but uh, my granny apple green is not too bad but my azure afternoon is a brand new um stamp pad so it's quite juicy so i'm going to need to um I'm going to need to dampen that off a bit. Sorry, my brain is just not really functioning on two things at once. So hopefully um, you're okay with the conversation dropping off a bit while I do this. All right, so as you can see, I'm going over the top there and those sections where I'm laying down ink get darker. All right. So that is that part. Let me put it away now. And it's closed. And then this is the Azure Afternoon, so it's a quite a bright, vibrant blue. One of the new ones that have come into our collection this year. So 
You just want to make sure that your brush is loaded up. Now, because this is new, you can see that it's going to get real streaky. So I want to just run off some to get it going. And what I noticed when I was doing this before was that actually I ended up with some white gaps, which I thought was quite, which I was okay with because, um, not too much on there, because, see, that's what I mean, it goes streaky. Um, because it kind of looks like soft clouds floating. I just think it this might be this brush, actually, as well. So that's okay. I'm just going to try and get as much on as I can without re-inking my brush. Now obviously you can set whatever scene you want to. Mine is just going to be daisies just to go along with that designer series paper and um, oops. So it looks like there's kind of clouds and that's, you can get that effect by punching clouds and laying them down and brushing over them or you can just have a munted brush. So my brush is not as smooth, might need a clean as that so you can see. So I might just have a bit much ink in it and it might need a bit of a clean. <sighs> so let's just down a little bit and then I'll just get my green again. Hi Mary, how are you doing? Hope you're well. It's been a while since we've seen you in person. I mean, I know you were on the other night, which was really nice and that you watch the replay sometimes. So hope you're continuing to be able to do some stamping. Okay, so that's our background. Um, well done, Kelly. Blue ink all over the place. Let's see if this will get it off. Most of it. Not too bad. All right, so now what I'm going to do this time, last time I did that and then I cut it and then I laid it all up and matched it because I wanted it to <coughs> go across and line up so that it matched. So what I'm going to do this time is actually what I should have done and actually just stamp my whole panel. And I'm using the Cheerful Daisies, which is in the annual catalogue. And we've got a stem. What we haven't got, what are they, flowers? What we actually haven't got is, um, what do you call it? Um, actually, I'll do the outline ones first because I don't have enough blocks. <coughs> it's some grass, like some little flaky bits of grass that could go. Um, underneath to um, give it a bit more. I'll save that for later. I'll swap these up in a minute. That's the wrong one. How are you feeling, Alison, after nearly, well, after three days? of um, teaching full-time after especially after such a long holiday uh, it's the end of the term so I'm sure like everybody you're feeling tired but I wonder if your board looked very exciting and <coughs> an exciting board <coughs> excuse me I think um, creates Excitement and enthusiasm. Tired. <laughs> oh. Well, I hope you're enjoying it, even if you are tired. 
because they're a lucky class to have you. Mm, put one close down there. Actually, I learned last time I should have actually done my flowers first and then my stems. But flowers don't line up perfectly um, in rows, so I shouldn't really be too worried about the fact that my flowers overlap. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's nice to have that consistent group of students, isn't it? That you, I mean, um, that you see every day rather than a different class every day. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> All right, sorry, went into concentration mode and forgot to carry on talking. Um, sorry about that. So, um, let's get our moody mode. And we'll start with, hmm, it doesn't really matter which one we start with, but if I start with small ones, it might be a little bit easier. in the same way. No forgiveness in this with all this work. If you um, get ink on your block and then transfer it to your project. So I'm just being careful to make sure that I don't get any extra excess anywhere. full one <clears throat> and again like I said there's going to be some that you're not going to end up using because you need to trim it off so now I think we've done this before but um I'm going to use the um the idea of um sorry I was getting rid of this cord it's falling off and annoying me um, so now we're just going to use the same stamp pad and stamp off to get a lighter colour, just to give that, <coughs> um, you know, that value to your, so let's do this first. Um, so that you can see that you don't have to keep buying lots of different. I just realized that our puppy is still here and he is very quiet. <coughs> All right, so now we're going to use this and we're going to stamp off. And we're going to line up because this is a two step stamp. So we're going to line up and I find one that's easy to see, which I didn't line that up. I saw as I put it down. Lined it up off, 
off a bit, off centre a bit. So the key is to get your stamp in one shape. And so I've gone for this this petal here because it's quite different to the others. And then before you press down, you want to line that up and then you want to just make sure that you can see the outline of all the other parts before you press down. Okay. Two-step stamping is quite a lot of fun, but it also can be a little bit frustrating until you learn how to do it with lining that up there. Okay. One more of the big ones. <coughs> And I made sure that I had mm -hmm. put um, the, that petal that I want to use to line up on my project there. So, oh my gosh, look at the time. It took way, this is taking way longer than I thought. Um, mm. All right, there he is. He's found someone. Hmm. I don't know what doesn't stamp very well. Oh, wow, that finished, didn't they? this up all right so the next step so this obviously is quite um if you're decorating it can take a while but <clears throat> it's quite therapeutic to just sit there and create a scene so then you're going to decide which way you want to do it so, because you obviously want it to connect up all right, so I'm going to start at this end, and that is going to be my first panel. So that panel is three and three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to put, bring it in here, three and three quarters of an inch. And you're just going to slice that up, and just to make sure we don't get it mixed up and speed things up a bit for you, we're going to pop that on. So the first one is three and three quarters. Go in there. A little bit closer. Hmm. It wasn't particularly happy. I'll go that way. Get it on. Must be warmed up, must have warmed up a bit. When it's a bit humid, it doesn't slide very well. So I'll put that on there like that. The second one is also three and three quarters. So we'll bring that into three and three quarters. <coughs> and we'll glue that. And then you can see that you've got this panel here. You're going to leave a little bit of a border around the outside, each side. But you can line up the top and the bottom. Make sure it's centred. And then you can 
stamp it and then you can see that continuation through that that'll work with designer series paper as well so you don't have to feel like you're going to stamp this all right so <clears throat> we did seven eighths so we're going to go we've been going half of an inch so we're going to go to five eighths and then this piece is going to go here so it's one and five eighths for this panel So again, centering in your piece, but lining it up either side. And then this one again is one and five eighths. So it's the mark in between, the center mark between half and, now you've got this back, you can use that on, your, on a panel if you wanted to put a panel on the back, <coughs> or you could use it as a panel on the front. Um, so it doesn't necessarily get wasted, it's just um, extra. And so if you stamp it um, as your like as one panel, then you'll have this. So if I was to put a piece on the back here, which I haven't cut, but I could put a panel here, and it could be where my where I do the writing. Um, you could stamp some sentiments in here. I am going to put some ribbon on, so I'll show you how I did that very quickly because I know it's 8 o'clock and people have lives. They don't need to be listening to me all night. Um, so what I did is I got a piece of tear and tape. And I'm going to put it just there so it will be hidden by the um, designer series paper. And then what you need to do is you need to have, bring your ribbon, I'm going to have that on the back so I can see, that should be long enough. And then I'm going to bring my ribbon over. So once it's lined up here, and it's all straight, there, and then I can put some tape on the back here. <laughs> oh, thanks, Andrea. <laughs> I'm glad that um, I'm glad that you can multitask and it's not too boring or too hard. Um, <sighs> let me just put that down there like that. So then I can. <clears throat> lay this out and cut my ends off so they're even all right then we will let's put some tape on here I want to make sure that it sticks down, <clears throat> especially over top of the ribbon. So, oh, nice. Is that so he can have his TV loud when you go to bed? Or did he get some for him as well? Or is that when you're doing the dishes and you can multitask then? You don't have to worry about, <clears throat> or when, not just the dishes, when you're doing something and you want to watch your phone or your TV. We just got a new TV on the weekend. I think I told you on Sunday. Um, but it's got Bluetooth and built-in Alexa. Not that we would ever use that, but, um, or we haven't, and I can't see why we would want to use it, but it's there. Um, it goes this way <clears throat> so this is kind of the reverse so um, the designer series paper um, is the moody mauve and the flower is a bit of both um, and the flower is the basic white so kind of the opposite of what we've done inside there although you can't really see the white because of 
Now, I don't know about anybody else, but I find doing my bow upside down helps it to get into the right, to go the right way. So we're just going to tie this. There you go. Tie the bow. Nice. Nice, nice. <clears throat> and then let's have um, oops a daisy. Wishing you let's do that. Wishing you the brightest days. And it's not gonna fit in my where do I put all my bits? I don't think it's gonna fit in my punch. Oh nope, that I had out, but that's okay. Because I can put it on a different one, or I can trim around it, which might end up being what happens. I can trim around it. Actually, I can go this way. If I line it up straight enough. There. Um, I was just reading on our demonstrated website that, um, so I'm going to post a little thing about it, but on the 7th of October, no, 7th, Saturday the 7th of October, um, it is World Card Making Day. Um, so Stephen Up have organised a free online event you don't need to have stampin up products but they if you register they give you all the links and stuff to be able to find and they just have got three cards that they'll make and you can make alongside them you don't have to have the same products um <clears throat> but it just gives you the card um outline and information so um so if you are interested, have a look on my website. Um, no, yeah, on my Facebook page it'll be. And um, it'll have a link. You can register if you want to. You don't have to. Um, if you register, <clears throat> they'll just update you with information that you might need or things that you might need. Um, but like I say, it's not. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's not a, so it's open to <coughs> demonstrators and customers all over the world. Um, and usually after that people, you get a link to, or a um, hashtag that they use to, um, so that everyone can see what everyone else has made. So if you're interested, it is a Saturday. It's from like two o'clock in the afternoon till um I don't like doing it like that because it's then like a um awareness ribbon, mm -hmm. which is not really what I was going for. But What do we think? Oh, I like that on the screen actually. So let's move that, put that down. A little bit of um, tear and tape. I haven't got my glue dots out, so which would, oh, and it's pulled off the tape, which would be what I would use normally for ribbon, but. I'm going to use this. Huh, it looks like an M now. It's like McDonald's. McDonald's, McDonald's. <coughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken and a pizza hut. It's a very old song that we used to sing at school. Get the kids doing a round and I think I want to focus on their little part without worrying too much about the words. 
Hokey tokey. Um, we have um, Piper's dance show on Saturday, so we have rehearsals tomorrow and Friday and then two shows on Saturday and we have to have food to make to sell in the canteen and all of that kind of stuff. So it's been a busy <coughs> it's been a busy few days already and a uh, busy few days to come. So hopefully I get a chance to be organized um, for Sunday. All right, so I haven't got a card ready yet, but that we go is our card and wow look at that it's 10 past 8 so this you could pop here if you wanted to you could even i do it on this one because the other one's open you could even just pop it in on this side so it kind of finishes it off i might do that <coughs> i threw that one away so i can't do it on that one but on this one so when it stands up whoops Tied that a bit tight, maybe because it comes off. So, this can go here. We've got notifications that are causing me to see. I can't see comments. Three bots to go! Yay! I got home today, and Matt says, Oh, so I had to buy some stuff for work, so uh, mm -hmm. and I could only get it from New World, so we've got lots of stickers. So We've got a new pot. I was like, awesome. It's like, it's a half size stock pot. It's like, cool, because we don't have enough pots now. Already. We have so many pots. Do you enjoy doing the dishes, Andrea, or do you not have a dishwasher? Like, I know some people just don't like dishwashers, and so they, and they like to do dishes. I personally don't like doing dishes, so... <clears throat> now that we have a dishwasher, can't live without it. And everything except, oh yeah, she would have, but Matt, uh, Matt's been collecting them, so I don't think we need pot, but he thinks we need pot. So I have got, if we've got any spares, I'll give them to her. Um, okay, there we go. That is our card for tonight. Thank you for sticking with me, ladies. Oh, you don't have a dishwasher. That would be on my Christmas wish list, is to get a dishwasher. But then, like I say, some people, I mean, we didn't have one growing up, and it wasn't until, and you get your nails clean. Well, this is true, but I wear gloves, so mine wouldn't get clean. Um, <clears throat> we, our first house that we bought had a dishwasher, and I thought it was like, the most amazing thing and then when we were buying our selling that and thank you Karen um they um one of the stipulations was that the house had to um have a dishwasher yeah so um I used the excuse of the fact that my husband is a chef and he makes a mess when he cooks um and there's too many dishes otherwise all right, I'm going to love and leave you. Thank you very much for sticking with me, ladies. Um, I hope that uh, you have a great rest of the week. Um, those of you who um, very kindly participated in my product share of the DSP um, and the cut in colour share that's the second to last month, so next month is the last one, um, that order has I've just got a notification to say that it's been shipped. Uh, so that should be to me in the next week, hopefully. Um, and then out to you mm -hmm. in the next few days after that. All right. Thank you very much. I hope you have a go at doing that. I'll post a picture of the card. Um, and please feel free to post your card if you make one underneath that post. It would be amazing to see what you guys come up with. You always blow me away with what you can, what you create um, and things that I don't even think of. So um, it's great to get inspiration from you. Thank you very much and I will see you on Sunday. <coughs>